Hello, Internets! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you guys are watching another shiny Pokemon hunt. I'm sorry I didn't get this live, and I won't get any more live if I'm gonna be doing it like this again. I'm filming old school with my cell phone! I know, get that, right? The thing is, I know, even though I'm on the capture card, um, I'm at the other house with Kim right now, so um, it was not possible for me to actually film this hunt right here um, that I went for a Voltorb to start our new um, Pokemon Platinum Q-Charm game with. The only problem with the Voltorb is a couple, actually. The Voltorb is a swarm, and because of that, that means that the Voltorb um, can only rarely appear as a, a target for me to hunt in this game. Fortunately, I just kind of randomly checked this morning because I was going for Nidoran females before this, and I kept failing them. Um, the patch is just really tiny. It's a pain in the butt. But um, this patch is kind of big, and so I figure, you know, I wanted the Voltorb anyway because you can't get it with Q-Charm because it's genderless. So I thought, okay, I'm going to go for the Voltorb. And, um, of course, I, before I go in there, I think, okay, I got to check. What level is this thing learn self-destruct? Learns it at 29. The Voltorbs in this patch that I'm chaining are level 29. Exactly. So they're going to blow up. Fortunately, I am not a complete idiot, and I'm almost a little prepared. So if we go over to our Pokemon right here, I have Don't Go Boom still with me right now, who is on level 53, who will still repel anything that does appear. I'm going to switch Don't Go Boom, the uh, damp Golduck, by the way, is what that is, with my Grizzly White out for the front of the par party. And I should mention one thing. I just got to my chain of 40 like a minute ago. Um, this is the second time I just reset the Poker Radar, and directly below me, immediately we found this nice oh that looks really good that looks really good a blue shiny volt orb which of course i gotta get it in a a great ball would be wrong with me if i didn't get it in a great ball how many great balls do i have that i have no clue i don't know but it looks awesome. Absolutely looks awesome. I did not check exactly what the other moves are that it knows. Um, it's, if it knows some electric ones, it's technically super effective against me, but I'm not worried. If anything, I'm actually just gonna throw balls right away. Let's see what we got down here. I have 29 great balls, so I figure let's throw one of these first. Hopefully we just get lucky on the first capture and I don't have to deal with this. One, two, Nope, we get to see those sparkles again. Really cool. Almost had it. Self-destruct, damp prevented wild bullet tour from using self-destruct. It did it on turn one. Thanks, game. Ugh, trying to rob me of this at the last second. Great ball. Sheesh. I do have names for both of one, two, three, yes! We caught the first one. And I say first one because I am gonna want a shiny electrode too. And the one that uh, will become the electrode is obviously the one that we're gonna end up raising for Platinum Q Charm. Voltar was added to the decks. It is the ball Pokemon. It looks just like a Pokeball. It is dangerous because it may electrocute or explode on touch. Oh, give a nickname to the Cod Voltorb. Yes. Like I said, I already had names for these. One of them. <laughs> It's kind of random, but in Pokemon Go, I named my Voltorb uh, uh, Bob Hinko. If anyone knows where that's from, should post it down in the comments. Bob Hinko. It's from one of my videos, if you guys have seen it. I N K O. Bob Hinko. Fantastic. Now I'm going to say okay, but for one second, I got to make sure I see this, the shakes here. Oh gosh, that's bad. Okay, I can run in this row though. So I'm gonna remember that in a minute. Um, but either way, uh, we're gonna take a look at Bob Hinko in the other Voltorb. Hopefully I get one more later because I only had one slot in my party anyway. I can't see them both, so give me a bit. I will see you guys when I can find another one, if I can find another one. All right guys, not after too much time really. I'm gonna say only about 10 minutes maybe. Um, so really fast, a second shiny patch has just appeared. Here we go. 
Our second shiny Voltorb is already here. It, holy cow, this is so quick. Um, it's not, well, I guess it's not crazy quick, but um, it makes me kind of want to go for a third one because of anything that, get, that gives me more options for natures and IV spreads and stuff to pick the best one for us to raise in uh, Pokemon Platinum Q Charm. Popped out immediately. Great. Uh oh. Broke free. Voltorb Screech. My do oh, I didn't think of that. Does he know physical attacks? Bag. I'm throwing another great ball here. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. One, two, three. There we go. We got him that time. Popped right out of the first one. But yeah, I don't know if they do know physical attacks. I remember them all using Screech. I don't know, I've never raised a Voltorb or Electro, that's why I'm kind of excited to give it a try in Platinum Q Charm. Give a nickname to the Cod Voltorb, yes! Now, this one, I know it's gonna sound like a stupid and uncreative name, but I asked Kim, and... No, nah, it wasn't her first joy. Well, well, we'll figure it out for maybe a third one, okay? But, um, I asked her to think of other uh, silly character names from either video games or uh, stuff like that. And um, one of our favorite that I didn't remember was um, a character who's actually in um, Xeno Saga 3? Oh, he's in all of them? Okay, I haven't seen the first two, but Kim, Kim and I have been playing 3. And um, <laughs> like everybody but one person who knows this person closely calls him by his actual name, except the person who, calls, who knows him closest calls him assistant number 2. So I want to call him... Something about that, because obviously there's no way I can fit. Uh, actually, I can write number two and spell it. Yep, it fits. Number two. <laughs> I was going to put the pound sign in there and fit in there, but number two actually fits. So, okay. I got to pay close attention to this. Number two was sent to the box, and here we go. And nothing, so I need to run in this row. And I'll be fine. So anyway, I'm gonna, um, for sure, either uh, have another part when we go back to the box or when I find another one. Either way, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, perfect timing. Kim is still not even, Kim, this whole time, Kim has been making dinner. I was, I was, I was, I was helping at one point. I did, but I was distracted because of Pokemon. But anyway, um, so I have my last, what I hope will be my last Voltorb. Um, tonight I have a name for it as well. Kim helped me come up with it because it's perfect. Uh, but anyway, that all depends on if we can catch it or not. And this actually may be a chain breaking shiny find. No, it did not. It did not break the chain. As you saw on the bottom, the Voltorb did not disappear. Boom. Third shiny Voltorb. I wasn't even planning on doing this, but here it is anyway. A third shiny blue ball. So, once again, same tactics as always. I'm just gonna go straight for the great balls. Don't mess around with it. These things blow up, as we saw our first one try and do. One, two, three. Nice, okay. Well, that works. Don't even screw around, just be done with it. Perfect. So, what we're gonna do is give a nickname to this Cod Voltorb. Yeah. Um. <laughs> oh, I hope it fits. We're naming it Chimichanga because it's. Yeah, you tell them the reason. Kim's making chimichangas. <laughs> no! No, it doesn't fit! Oh, no. What do I do? I need one more letter. I gotta cut one letter out. Is it chimichangas or chimichanga? Nah, it's chimichang right now. <laughs> Should I call him chimichang? Chimichang. No, he turned an Asian! Oh, uh, you're right. I gotta, I gotta fix it. One letter's gotta go. Cause I wanted his nickname to be either Chimmy or Changa. I could name him Chimchanga. Chimchanga? Chimchanga? Uh, yeah. Chim Chimmy Ching Ching Chimmy Chang Chim Chimmy Chang. What do I do? Kim, this is a catastrophe! I d why can't I have that 11th slot? Uh... Mm. Uh... I can name him Chimikaga. Yeah. Huh. Okay, it sounds like it's the best option. 
Darn it. Chimmy Conga. Unfortunately, that's as good as I can do. How are we looking up here? Mm, practically nothing. So what I'm gonna do is that's our closest bet to it actually being a Voltorb right here. So I'm going to switch Pokemon around like I always do. Great, I can't do it with a touch screen in this game, of course. Wait, whoa! No, it just goes straight to a summary. We'll be looking at our uh, shinies in a bit. But anyway, what I wanted to do, sorry, I gotta crudely do it with my hand. I'm gonna switch Bob Hinko for the front of the party and we're going to break this chain, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save and stuff and get back to the PC in a bit. But anyway, we're gonna break this chain Possibly, I'm gonna let you see the Voltorb down there. If this disappears as I walk in, it will not be a Voltorb, but hopefully we do have a Voltorb here. We do, perfect. So we're gonna have a Voltorb against a shiny Voltorb battle. Here comes regular Voltorb, even though it's like the most obvious shiny change ever. But here you go, Bob Hinko, shiny Voltorb. Now, awesome, what we're gonna do is go back to the PC and take a look at our three shiny Voltorbs and pick which one is going to be our shiny Electrode in Pokemon Q-Charm Platinum Series. All right guys, we have made it back to the PC and it's now time to take a look at our three shiny Voltorbs which I have lined up right here. We have Bob Hinko, number two, and Chimikanga. I'm gonna pull them up right here, so I'm going to summary. Here we go, we have Bob Hinko. Nice, that looks really good. That looks really good. I really like that shiny. It's a really cool one. I love how we got him in Great Balls too. Perfect. Anyway, look at this. It is a sassy nature and likes to scatter things. Now, I do not remember sassy off the top of my head. I know it messes with, I think this is specials or, I'm not sure. I gotta look that one up. I do not remember, but it is a static and those are the stats right there. Um, since I'm not really gonna be able to make the decision right here, so I'm gonna have your guys' opinion. What do you think is gonna make the best Voltorb for our Electrode? Here's our next one. Number two is a quirky nature and is mischievous and happily eats anything. Now, quirky is gonna be neutral, uh, but number two actually has soundproof. Gives immunity to all sound-based moves. I think static is a little bit better to have, and in terms of, uh, sheer numbers, um... Bob Hinko, I don't know. It's, wow, number two is much faster, like way faster. So, Sassy may actually hinder the speed. I don't remember, but it's just my bad memory not showing me what that was. But anyway, our final one today, Jim Kong, no, Jimmy Kanga is quiet with a sturdy body. Quiet actually, I think slows you down, but gives you higher special attack? No, that can't be right, because this one's special attack and speed are both low. Well, it's not really. I mean, it is the highest special attack of the three, but number two is actually the fastest, but he has soundproof. Huh. I wanted static. I'm not sure. Who actually is the best one of these three? I'm going to let you guys help me decide down in the comments below, but either way, that is all the time I have for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next shiny Pokemon hunt. Boom!